and he wanted to become a chef someday. Planting trees is his environmental advocacy, and he is wearing a recycled flower sack crafted with indigenous materials like coconut leaves and bamboo. Ladies and gentlemen, Raptel Wiko. Number two is the water then Alicia Divine Pino. Her birthday is on January 15, 2008. Her motto in life, we care, we share for the future we prepare. Her ambition is to become a successful flight attendant. Her environmental advocacy, wish to join Mother Earth Foundation and help promote its campaign on zero waste management. The description of her environmental costume, a modern Filipiniana gown made up of red bag, decorated with rope, paper plates, cardboards, and recycled beads from bamboo placemats. Air number three. Leader Mr. Science Quiz number three is Bob Andre Padre. He was born in April 20. The focus of Saving Mother Earth is to serve as a role model and involve himself in activities like replanting the five R's because he believes that the, the only planet we got is number four, 2008. Her motto try and try until you succeed. Her ambition in life is to become a lawyer. Her environmental advocacy is to plant more trees, stop using plastic bags, instead use eco bags, and practice recycling of used materials. The description of her gown, her costume, the gown is accented with wooden bowls, bottle cups, booty mat, and dried banana stalk. Another layer of skirt is made out of used mosquito net. The top of the Filipiniana is made out. Presenting to you once again, our pair number three. Let us give them a warm round of applause. Third, science class number four is Luis Santino M. Saraos. He was born on May 3, 2008, and believed in planting trees for the next generation to come. His environmental costume, cut glass and rough products. It may sound, it may look simple, but who wears it? with pride and determination that will make him stand out. Once again, little Mr. Zion School Saraos. Our female candidate number four is no other than Elijah, Elijah 2009. Her mother life, if others can, why can't I? Her ambition is to become a successful teacher son. And a description of the environmental costume, a modern Filipiniana dress made of rice socks, drinking straw, mountain dew, plastic. Oh, welcome, pair number five. <laughs> Mr. Science Quest number five is Cyber Jams Fatad. He was born an August 20 project of the government. This is to promote proper garbage disposal and tree planting. He is wearing a modern barrel tagado made up of red bag. Cardboards and recycled beads from bamboo placemats. Ladies and gentlemen, Cyber born on August 2, 2008. Her motto in life, if you can if you can dream it, you can do it. Her ambition is to be 
become a successful accountant someday. See, Sagip Kalikasan. The description of the environmental costume. She is wearing a G out of recycled rice sack printed with koi fishes, koi fishes to represent the marine life and sunflowers that signifies dance and beauty. Accentuated with a recycled wooden piece from an old curtains and a silag peeping that adds Mr. Science Quest number six is Adrian Chapet Aspa. He was born on January 18, 2008. His motto in life is believe and you will achieve. He dreams to become a police officer for waste management. He is wearing a piece that is called Harry. This Baron Tagalog is Alibapo de Baron is accentuated with dark brown inverted V to represent the shape of the matrix, which is a trademark of tropical countries. Ladies and gentlemen, let's put our hands for candidate number six is no other than Karizami R. Rapakon. She was born on November 1, 2008. Her motto to protect our natural resources, particularly the mountains and strong anti mining campaign. Well, Mr. Science Quest number seven is Kyle Aldrin Kilana. He was born on the 20th day of July. Back in 2008. Don't let others box you into their idea of what they think you should be. A confined identity is a miserable way to exist. Be you and love free. Environmental advocacy is to promote environmental awareness to the fellow pupils in their school by encouraging them to plant more trees and become responsible with their actions of our natural resources. Ladies and gentlemen, Kyle Aldrin Dillan. Our female candidate number seven is no other than Eloisa Amor V. Balalio. She was born on October 25, 2008. Number eight. Mr. Science Quiz number eight is Unicarl B. Maxino. He was born on the 25th day of March in the year 2009. Pretty face gets old, a nice body will change, but a good heart will always remain. Yuri Carl wanted to become a professional chef. His environmental advocacy is power, not in talk, but energy conservation, energy conservation to lessen the effects in the climate change. He's wearing a Baron Tagalog made out of recycled tobacco sacks with farmers, which farmers use during the process of drying their tobacco. It is accented with bunny and wooden beans and paired with a missing salakot on his back that represents a true native Filipino man. Yuri Carl B. Maxino, our little Mr. Science Quest number 8. Our female candidate number 8 is no other than Frances Nicole M. Negrillo. She was born on September 11, 2008. Her in life, do the best you can until you know better. And when you know better, do better. Her ambition in life, to become a successful teacher someday. And her environmental advocacy, get involved in nature, save Mother Earth, plant trees to save our life and apply the five R's. The description of the environmental costume, made up 
made up of garbage bag and plastic bags designed with styro plates to come up with a great look accentuated with water lily shells and crown cork to make the bar okay. number nine Our little Mr. Science Boys number 9 is Vince Joshua G. Pio. He was born on the 17th day of September back in 2008. He dreams to become an engineer someday. His environmental advocacy is to lessen the worsening effect of climate change through a campaign of the proper use of the MRF. Permanent stock, feathers, ruins of an old sack, which all come that the fix is a to lessen the effect of climate change. Ladies and gentlemen, this. Our female candidate number nine is no other than Rizzi R. Adegre. She was born on Mars for Stewart and Sunday. Her environment drying palai grains, called as Pagbilagan, accentuated with corn, coconut husks, and sugar cane leaves. Rizzi R. Rizzi R. Allegra, our female candidate number nine. Little Mr. Science Quiz number 10 is Lay Angelo A. Galamgam. He was born on the 29th day of June, 2008. Aim high and hit the mark, but always remember to keep your feet on the ground. Lay Angelo wants to become a doctor of medicine someday. His environmental advocacy is self-discipline in saving Mother Earth. That is one of their top selling products which they celebrate their Karamugoy festival every August. It is also highlighted with flowers made also. Male number 11 is Vince Lloyd Rakepo. Was born on the 23rd day of October back in the year 2007. He believes in the motto, plant good seed with black bottle cups as buttons, jute or sisal rope as lining. The Baroque pants was also styled with puri created by GMTZ Creation in Santa Maria. Vince Lloyd Roquepo, Lil Mr. Science Quiz number 11. On stage, flight attendant something. Her environmental advocacy let us minimize the using 
plastic singer, battle girls, and wooden, and wooden crabs. 